Welcome today to a sunny Sussex Sunday Challenge Trophy Final here at Culver Road between the Claremont and Jarvis Brook. These sides are used to Sunday football and both are also yet very used to winning. The Claremont have won seven of their last nine games, including many cup victories. This is the first of two finals for them this month, with a League Charity Cup final to come in a few weeks' time. They're flying high in their local League too, and will bring confidence into today's game. Any question of a lack of confidence in their opposition today is non-existent. Jarvis Brook have won virtually every football match they've played this season, and are the Cup's top scorers. Although they've had a couple of tricky 5-3 wins en route to the final, they showed their striking force in round three, putting 23 goals past Southwater. In striker Steve Smith, he scored 10 in that game, and he'll look to condemn the Claremont defence to similar problems today in this battle for the Cup. Frangu delivers it into centre. That's a good ball towards Williams. It was well won. Comes out to Webb, drills it. And it's a tester for Rob Gordon, but he was always comfortable. Leppard again intercepted by Webb, who puts it up into the air. Clibbins has let it run all the way through, and Gordon for a second looked worried, but kept it in. And now Dan Lawrence brings the ball out. Frampton. Oh, it was dangerous, and he's lost out. Peach. Has a chance for a volley and he's found the corner. What a goal. Dougie Peach scores for the Claremont. It was terrible defending. Ross Frampton caught in possession in the middle. Can't lose it there as the last man. Dougie Peach pinched it off him. And first time, last the shot into the far corner. Great goal. And the Claremont, they've been under the cosh, but they have the lead. Dan Wright still coming forward. He's away from Peach. He's away, he's come all the way through. Right, still going, oh, it would have been a great goal. Hathaway again, finds the left-footed cross, drills it in, and Stoner does well, gathers it cleanly. It's gonna be King to deliver. Whips it in, comes to the back post, it's over hit though, just trips on the ball. Right, oh, Williams on a bit late on Freeman. And that brings us to the end of the first half. It's been bright and lively. Just the one goal. Dougie Peach found the corner after dispossessing Ross Frampton in the midfield. At half time, the Claremont lead by a goal to nil to deliver the corner. Clips it in and Stoner takes it well, the near post. Leppard comes inside, thought about a shot. Gets away from Towers. Leppard now shoots. Really well charged down by. Danny Miller on the edge of the box. Go against it in the end. Freeman to deliver. That's a nice ball. Whips it in. It came off a... Williams goes up. Doesn't win it. Frampton's ball forward. Flicked over the top by Saunders. Leppard. Good touch. Gets away from Danaha. Puts it across. It was Smith coming in at the back post. Couldn't quite stretch to turn it goalwards. But for now, it'll be Dan Lawrence to deliver the ball. Puts it in towards clearance. He got something on it. Could drop to Leppard in the centre. Clearance is bouncing around everywhere. Good save. Stoner comes back. King. And in the end, it now should be clear. It comes out to Webb. It took a deflection on the way through and turned it into a great save from Craig Stoner. Freeman will deliver the free kick. Clips it in towards Smith. Gets his head to it. Drop Carney for Rayner. Joss even barely left for Smith. And Steve Smith has lashed Jarvis Brook back into this cup final. The initial ball came into him, he couldn't quite get his head to it. Rayner was unable to clear, and it dropped again to Steve Smith, whose clinical finish found its way into the bottom corner. That makes it Jarvis Brook one, McClemont one, and Steve Smith scores his 30th goal of the season. Webb again, puts it in left-footed, nodded away, nearly fell for McIntosh. Comes all the way out to Frangu, he'll go for it. Go for it, he did, but way, way over the bar in the end. Peach has gone down in the centre, but the play's gone on. It's come to Steve Smith. Miller's out to meet him. St Smith goes past him, just doesn't quite get the contact off balance. Freeman into the middle again, goes deep towards the back post. It's kept in, I think, by a Claremont head. Could drop to Saunders on the edge of the box. Comes to Lawrence. Saunders, tries to tee it up. Couldn't keep the shot down though. Right. Saunders. Miller gets his foot to it well. And it is at the moment the Claremont who are ending the game stronger. Rayner to deliver. Puts it in towards Williams who's having his shirt pulled there. Dropped back to the edge of the box to Towers but his shot had 
no power and Gordon able to gather, but there was definitely a hand on Chris Williams' shirt there in the centre. Right clears the ball downfield. Is there a late sting in the tail? It comes all the way through, does it, to Stoner? He was caught late by Saunders and the referee gives it that way as well. Met by Rayner, who's put everything into this game, which is now over. In 90 minutes, they couldn't be separated. Dougie Peach scored for the Claremont in the first half. Steve Smith's 30th goal of the season brought Jarvis Brook level, who, in fairness, played better in the second. It ends one all, and both will play another half an hour. Peach puts it up into the air. Freeman turned his back on it, got a half a foot to it. Wimble, though, gets away. Space for Turney. Carl Turney with the shot. Just couldn't find the bottom corner from the edge of the box. Can't get his head to it. Wright did well. Comes out to Turney. Bit of space. Knocks it down the line to, for Peach, but Peach can't get there, and he's gone in late. And that could be Peach in trouble, and it is. Dougie Peach is gone, and the Claremont will have to play the rest of extra time with 10 men. It was a silly challenge to make on a yellow card. Never going to get the ball. A tired tackle. It's been coming all game. It was always going to be surprised if it ended 11 versus 11. And that's the case. And it's a shame because the Claremont have been better in this extra time period. They've been the side on top so fast. There's an incident there between Leppard and, and Towers and Luke Leppard's been showing a second yellow card as well. <laughs> Not sure what happened off the ball, didn't see it. It was a coming together from Towers and Leppard and Luke Leppard's also been sent off. Frangu puts it in, Lawrence away, comes to Slade. Frampton got there comes back to Rayner. Rayner, he goes for it from distance and it wasn't a bad effort in the end. Hathaway to take. And that takes us to the end of the first period of extra time. The Claremont have been the better side in this last 15 minutes. Most notably though, we're now 10 v 10 and we're 15 minutes away from it being 1v1 in the shootout. We're looking for the back option again, finds a cross. He's found Wimble with it, lays it off. Rayner with the chance, just dragged his shot wide. It's found its way to Smith, the only man forward in blue. Still Steve Smith gets away from Miller. Smith, big chance, and it's deflected over the top. I think it was probably going in. Crucial, crucial deflection. Not sure who turned it over. It might have been Towers. It's Daryl King who's going to deliver. King puts it into the centre. It comes through, it's a real mess. Smith's there. It doesn't find its way in. It could have dropped absolutely anywhere. Rayner got there to clear. King, he's done well. Webb charges it down and as Stoner kept that in, he hasn't. It's gonna be another corner. Four minutes to go. King puts it in. Clear at the near post. It could drop at the back post. It has, but it's gone wide. The heads go up. It breaks for Saunders. It comes to right. Ball through, Smith just got caught on his heels, still a chance though. Sam Saunders puts it through, Frampton, what a chance! He's rounded the goalkeeper, the flag stayed down, but he slipped at the crucial moment. And Craig Stoner gratefully pounces on the ball, and that is the final action of the game. It's been a well-fought cup final, and it was right at the end. Ross Frampton had the chance. He slipped at the crucial moment. He could have put it across with Saunders waiting to tap it in. As it is, they'll have to try and put it in from 12 yards. We'll go to penalties in this cup final. It's never nice, but we're there here at Culver Road. It's going to be from the spot. And it'll be Clement to go first. And it's Billy Rayner. And Billy Rayner scores. It'll be Jarvis Brook, goal scorer, Steve Smith. And he scored. Stoner went the right way. But Smith puts it fully in the corner. Towers against Gordon. And he scores. He scores into the bottom corner. Look for a second as though Gordon might have got there, went the right way. It'll be Richard Clibbins to draw us level again. Clibbins scores, same corner again. Everyone scored so far. Webb scores as well. Very confidently into the bottom corner. Nicely done. King to level it at three apiece. 
And he does, and he uses the same bottom corner as well. Carl Turney. To take it, Turney. Oh, that's a great penalty. Right into the top corner, postage stamp penalty. Rob Gordon, absolutely no chance with that one. Saunders, he scores. Probably the worst one of the bunch, but it doesn't matter, it's found its way in. And we're on sudden death from here on in. Danny Miller, the captain, to take it. And Miller's penalty has been saved. Rob Gordon, the player manager for Jarvis Brook, has saved and it is match point. Jarvis Brook. It falls on his shoulders, Bert Freeman. Came on in the first half to win the cup. Freeman scores, calm as you like. Slots it in the opposite corner to where anybody else has gone. And Jarvis Brook win the cup on the shootout. They went behind early in the first half. Dougie Peach scored for the Clermont. Steve Smith's 30th goal of the season made it one all in normal time. Both sides were reduced to 10 in extra time when Dougie Peach and then Luke Leppard were both sent off. It's been an even game throughout, both sides having good spells. But in the end, from the spot, it's a 100% faultless performance. And Jarvis Brook take it 5-4 in the shootout. Here he is, Dan Lawrence. One of the star performers, if not the star performer, you'd have to say. Excellent game at centre half. Always comfortable, always confident at the back. And Lawrence comes up, takes the trophy. And Jarvis Brook are the cup champions. They win it, the Sussex Sunday Challenge Trophy. Lifted aloft by Dan Lawrence.